With exams just around the corner, many of you may be wondering what topic CXC will be raining on paper to this year. Well, honestly, I'm wondering the same thing. It's usually very hard to predict exactly what can come because there are so many topics on the CXC syllabus for both biology and human and social biology. So I am not going to pretend to be a fortune teller, but in this video, I'm going to be sharing my personal feelings about the topics I think could possibly come for May 2020 exams. So I thought it would be interesting to share my predictions from last year and show you what topics I actually thought would come, the ones that actually did come. So for biology, out of the topics I predicted, five came. So nutrient cycles came, particularly the um, carbon cycle. Digestion came. The first question on the paper was transpiration. So that was a whole graph on transpiration. And reproductive system came, the female reproductive system came. And then cell division. They had the stages of cell division, um, particularly meiosis. So I didn't do too bad for May 2019, I must say, for biology that is. But on the other hand now, for human and social biology, I didn't do too well in terms of predicting what would come. So only about three topics came. So a diagram of the eye came. And for the topic HIV AIDS, there was a population pyramid and the effects of AIDS question. And then the last one, so I squeeze this in under skin because the topic on temperature regulation came. So body temperature, temperature regulation, so that's closely associated with the skin. So for the human and social biology, I didn't do that well in predicting. But let's see what I can do this year. Alright, so for biology, let's begin. The topics I think may come. So first of all, I'm thinking a graph on enzymes could come. Um, that is a common topic that usually comes as the first question on the biology paper. So you know you have to expect some kind of investigation question to come. So the topic I'm thinking may come this year would be on enzymes. So either a graph or a table that you may have to plot a graph. So enzyme graph and then closely connected to that would be digestion. So maybe the different types of digestion, mechanical versus chemical digestion, and the diet and deficiency diseases. So those topics are kind of closely linked. Um, I also think that something on the seed will come seed structure, germination, like the factors affecting the germination of the seed, the factors required for the seed germination, I should say, and seed dispersal. I haven't seen that in a while. Seed and fruit dispersal. I haven't seen that topic come in a long time. Um, and then maybe the structure of the dicotyledonous leaf. So either the external or the internal structure you know showing the layers of the leaf and then how how the leaf is adapted for photosynthesis so something on that topic possibly um, next I am thinking irritability something to do with irritability um, particularly with the different types of responses so like responses of invertebrates maybe even plants and choice chambers so choice chambers, those um, are involved with the conditions that certain organisms would prefer, like for example, wood lice. So this ties in with the, the invertebrates, you know, they choose the, the particular area based on moisture or darkness, cool temperature. So maybe something on that could come. And then movement, I haven't seen that in a in a while. So something to do with the bones, the joints, muscle action, 
specifically biceps and triceps so something to do with movement and then I'm also thinking in terms of section C so I'm believing something will come on section C natural or artificial selection speciation so like the definition species biological species concept you know how species are formed and then maybe cell division possibly um, it came last year so if anything they may bring something related to mitosis so meiosis came last year so they may possibly bring something on mitosis if it comes at all but I just squeeze that in there because it could come again and then genetic engineering so like concepts of genetic genetic engineering maybe advantages possibly how insulin is produced through genetic engineering so those are my topics for section C I'm thinking and then the next topic I'm thinking of is the male reproductive system so we had a female reproductive system that came last year so possibly they may bring the male reproductive system um, then also blood clotting a genetic cross I haven't seen a genetic cross on the the hemophilia or a sickle cell anemia for a bit um, so I'm thinking that can possibly come they didn't have any genetic crosses on last year's paper so they may bring one this may so some kind of genetic cross but I'm thinking maybe on sickle cell anemia or hemophilia which is a sex linked trait so that's a common one they usually tend to test on sex link genetic crosses so either hemophilia or color blindness so those involve the sex chromosomes and then the last set of topics I'm thinking is related to insect vectors so maybe the life cycle of mosquito or the house fly how you control these vectors and then closely connected to that will be the diseases dengue and malaria so those are my thoughts on what can come and then to squeeze in some other topics that I think I that may possibly come to as well um, classification sampling methods so sampling methods if if something doesn't come on enzymes the enzyme graphs the first question possibly they may bring one on sampling methods so something to do with ecology as the first question so either the enzyme graph digestion related questions or something on ecology sampling methods soil as the first question and then possibly the nitrogen cycle so they brought this the carbon cycle last year so who knows they may bring the nitrogen cycle which is actually a little more complex but those are my thoughts on what I think could possibly come for May 2020 biology Alright, let's go on to my predictions for human and social biology. So the topics I think that may possibly come for HSB. So I'm strongly thinking something to do with respiration, like the different types of respiration. So maybe aerobic versus anaerobic respiration, something related to maybe vital capacity. Perhaps they may even show a vital capacity graph, although that has not been very common but that's a possibility and then I'm thinking also something related to asthma or smoking that may possibly come in like a graph or table or chart format but usually remember the first question is more than likely going to be investigated so a table a chart a graph something related to that so asthma or smoking and then I haven't seen mouth to mouth resuscitation in a in a while so that's a possibility too so maybe these steps that you would perform to um, give someone mouth to mouth res resuscitation when they're not breathing so that's the first set of topics I'm thinking and then secondly photosynthesis testing a leaf for starch so whether it may be in a variegated leaf that is one which has green parts and yellow or whitish parts or maybe 
like investigating the necessity for light in order for photosynthesis to occur so maybe the one with the strip of foil or black paper over the leaf so something to that to that extent where you're testing a leaf for starch to see if it's photosynthesizing and possibly the photosynthesis equation with the raw materials products and then possibly the carbon cycle or one of the cycles so either the carbon or the nitrogen cycle but some kind of nutrient cycle that could also come and moving on to the next set of topics I'm thinking nutrition so this relates to nutrients food tests so the different types of food tests you know starch tests benedict's tests for reducing sugars protein tests anything like that and enzymes again I'm believing that that could possibly come and then connect it to that digestion um, also expect a question on cell division so either mitosis or meiosis and variation the different types of variation I don't know why I have a feeling that that could come so like genetic variation versus environmental variation on also the different types like discontinuous variation versus continuous variation and examples of each so something to do with variation I'm strongly feeling and a genetic cross of some kind so whether it would be a simple cross on the like albinism or maybe height tongue rolling something like that or it could be a sex link cross but I think something like that can come I haven't seen a genetic cross come on the HSV paper in a while and then there is also genetic engineering as a possibility and the heart I believe in something about the heart the blood perhaps the blood vessels can come immunity different types of immunity and cardiovascular diseases so if they bring the heart they may tie it together with cardiovascular diseases so like hypertension atherosclerosis anything like that coronary artery disease so something along that lines related to the heart and then the questions related to the environment so once again like I'm thinking life cycle of insect vector of some kind so either mosquito house fly and then connecting it to dengue or malaria so I strongly believe in that one of these papers are gonna have something to do with insect vectors dengue or malaria and I haven't seen the water cycle in a while water purification anything to do with water maybe pollution which can lead to eutrophication so those are my feelings on what could come for the May paper and just to squeeze in some other topics that could possibly come male reproductive system menstrual cycle I haven't seen that in a while and the birth process at least stages of of birth so those are just my feelings on the May 2020 human and social biology paper what could come so just a word of encouragement remember that you just need to prepare yourself you need to make sure you study as much as you can because preparation is the key to success so if you fail to prepare prepare to fail simply put so if you're really struggling with preparations for exams I advise you to check out my video on seven tips for studying biology I believe it would definitely help you prepare for your exams if you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like and share and don't forget to hit that notification bell.